So you get out of high yeah. school and you just start going crazy with the penises or what? Well, I get out of high school and I get straight into porn. Oh, right, right. right. Wow. Yeah. I turned 18 end of July and September like 10th, I think I was doing my first porn. Were you thinking about it while you were not 18 yet? Like, and yeah, like this is my next move. Yeah. So like knew. 17 and three quarters. I was like, OK, I'm packing my boxes because I'm leaving. I'm moving out of mom and dad's house. What to do? What to do? And they had no idea that this was the plan. Um, no, I had gotten in trouble a few times like taking nude pictures for like guys in my class that I liked or like I really had a big crush on this other guy from church and I would send him naked pictures so they kind of knew what I was like but uh-huh. I don't think they knew that I was googling like how to become a porn star which is how I became what, what was your wow. entry into the game um I found sexyjobs.com an agent contacted me and then I did a solo made good money and was like okay bye santa monica college right (laughs) so what'd you do you moved to fucking hollywood or the valley or something i just moved out of reseda and moved into woodland hills okay yeah and just started shooting all the time did your career kind of take off from the beginning or yeah right from the get-go i was kind of shooting like every single day really yeah i mean i feel like that's how it is when you're 18 and you're horny right out of high school everybody books you wait so how how long have you been in this game 16 years this september wow yeah so you've really seen it go through a shitload of changes yeah definitely i mean i took a break for like four years and during those four years i feel like that's when the most drastic changes took place because i left and it was all one way and then i come back and it's just like the quality of everything i feel like has really increased what year did you leave 2012 and then you came back in 2016. Which is the year I like got into yeah. it. I would think the biggest change has been like the OnlyFans yeah. res- revolution. Enormous. But... I kind of feel like I was one of the porn stars along with Sophie D and Asa Akira to kind of take OnlyFans seriously. Because mm-hmm. I think uh, at the time it was still like shooting. You want to shoot every day. You want to get all the nominations and everything. But I was living in San Francisco at the time. So that wasn't always really like a viable option. So I was just kind of doing my webcamming and my OnlyFans. And like one day I opened my OnlyFans and I had like a big old chunk of money there. And I was like, oh, maybe there's something to this. Mm. So I started, you know, working it more and more. And that's, yeah. Did you go back to studios when you came back in 2016 or just? I did. Yeah. did. To studios. Right. Are you serious on the OnlyFans grind as well now? Is that like a big part of your life or are you more about shooting? I mean... When I have shoots, I kind of forget about my OnlyFans a little bit because it's so exciting to shoot for big companies and get, you know, their traffic and their promo. But I always remind myself, like right now, I'm like obsessed with my OnlyFans. It's doing better than it has because I'm putting in so much energy towards it. Mm. Um, Yeah. So I'm trying to make OnlyFans number one because it's like the smartest move. But I can't help but want that little bit of fame that the production I get sad when I text a girl and she's like, oh, I'm not really shooting OnlyFans right now. Like I'm just doing studio stuff. And I'm like, the... The per- like me, I've always shot for myself, so I always just want to be like, ah, don't do that. Like, yeah. shoot for yourself. But I mean, I get that it's like it's different. You go on set, yeah. you get a lot of attention that like gives you a different kind of like high in a way. I think also it's like logistically, it's just weird to go from you just show up and someone does your makeup and someone does the pictures and every else is kind of doing it because it's their production to go from that to being like the person who has to produce everything the self-starter you have to get up and do everything yeah you have to like yeah organize everything like find the makeup artist find the photographer editor uh the set everything like that's uh, a little bit different yeah that i'm not used to so being that you've been in the game for so long you kind of like that whole like star experience where you show up on set you're the they're the queen of the day all of a sudden you're just getting clobbered with dicks from all angles is that something you still kind of love i'm gonna say no to the queen thing i don't like refer to myself that way uh but they treat you special when you're the girl of the day the talent, right right yeah yeah i mean i'm just there to do my job and then i do really like sex so that obviously like they like that about me um yeah i'm I'm pretty excited about the sex part i guess mm. i'm not big on being like the star of the day it's just that numerically their traffic really translates to like good rankings and sales and everything rankings? and i want to stay in oh like on Pornhub and stuff is yeah. that something that you're you're closely monitoring maybe Interesting. <laughs> so you do stuff for one of the bigger companies they put a bunch of clips of you up on their Pornhub page yeah. and then that helps your ranking I didn't think about that, but that makes sense. Yeah, Yeah, it helps my ranking, and then it helps my OnlyFans sales. It also really helps my webcam sales because they have a white label with cam models, which is the 
company I webcam through. So like if I'm on the front page of Pornhub, my sales on webcamming is like one and a half, two times what it is really than before when I was like number 60 or something. Because we were working with a male talent the other day and he, he was talking about some girl that, telling me that me and Lena should work with her. And he's like, yeah, man, she's number three on porn or not number three, number 93 on Pornhub. Okay. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I'm not even thinking about that at all. Like, I need to be thinking about that kind of I shit used more. To, when I was, like, in the top 30, like, I used to check it all the time. Exactly. It was, like, very exciting. But yeah. then now I don't really think about it that much. I don't know. Back up there. I remember I got fucking roasted. I had a viral tweet because I said, like, my girl's number 10 on Pornhub. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> I was having everybody's a good week. <laughs> quote tweeting me being like, you are a bitch. Rah, rah, cause, <gasps> but that makes what? it sound like you're getting fucked by all these random dudes. And, like, it's not just me. It's just, like, the, uh, if you have a trending or viral moment, then obviously you're going to be in the top whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't yeah. mean that I was like, you know, doing a million scenes. But mm. that's interesting. Right. I, yeah. I feel like I'm I'm a bad performer because I don't check my rank all the time anymore. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of different um ways to kind of like value where you're at as a performer. It's like if you're seen sell, boom, you're a good performer. Yeah. If you're in the top on Pornhub, you're probably a good performer. If everybody's booking you, you're probably a good performer. But one of those things might not like. That are you still motivated by like the nominations and stuff or do you not really think about that so much anymore i i feel like i owe it to myself because i've been in for so long to like try and go after the milf of the year um just so that like when i'm like old and wrinkly i can look back and be like <laughs> good job natasha you did a fucking job yeah <laughs> but um it's it's just nowhere near as important as like my only fans so i can only let myself put in so much energy yeah you know 